Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we're uh, moving on to a new lecture outline today. This is the uh, stoichiometry lecture. We're on page 1 of 12. Okay, We're going to start off with a brief review of molarity. And we're talking about how we measure amounts in solutions. And we do that with concentration. We cannot do it with mass. You can't put a solution on the balance. And some of you might be saying, oh yeah, you can. You know, Put a beaker on the balance, find the mass of the beaker, then pour in the solution, find the mass of the solution, subtract the mass of the beaker. And while that seems like a nice idea, it's actually not going to work. Because what you'd be finding the mass of is mostly the water that's in the solution. Okay, The way we can calculate the actual amount of substance that is in a solution is by using concentration. Okay, now most of the time we use molarity, and molarity, capital M, is equal to moles of solute divided by liters of solution. So we abbreviate that with N over V. And we are very strictly limited to moles divided by liters. We can't change it to milliliters or centiliters or anything like that. So if capital M equals N over V, N can be capital M times V, or V can equal N divided by capital M. Okay? Now, in some really older books, I have seen them underline the capital M or make it bold, but I don't think you're going to encounter that. Okay? Now, important to understand that sometimes we do what is called dilution. We have a dilution formula where if molarity equals moles over volume and moles equals molarity times volume, we could say that that equals concentration times volume or that C1V1 equals C2V2. Or the way I was actually shown a long time ago, CIVI equals CFVF, standing for initial and final. Okay? Now, do a couple math problems real fast here just to wake up the brains. These are almost identical to ones that you had done last year. What is the molarity of 20 grams of NaOH and 1.50 liters of solution? We'll take our 20.00 grams of NaOH and we'll convert it into moles. One mole NaOH. The molar mass of NaOH is actually a convenient number. It's 40.00 grams NaOH. Okay. Those cancel. This ends up equaling 0. 0.5000 moles NaOH. So molarity equals N over V, which is 0. 0.5000 moles NaOH divided by 1.50 liters, which is 0. 0.333 molar NaOH. Okay? And I've paid attention to sig figs here. The 1.50 limits me to three sig figs. Okay? Now, that is something that you might have to do. Okay? Number two is a much more likely question of what you would have to do figuring out how many grams you need to make a specific solution. So, you want 2 liters of 0 0.75 molar KOH. How many grams are you going to need? 
So if molarity is moles over volume, moles equals molarity times volume, okay, which equals 0 0.75. And here's a very important little trick here to make your life easier. Don't write capital M. Write moles over liters, okay? So that when you multiply by the 2.00 liters, you actually have a unit to cancel, okay? And you're gonna say, oh yeah, right, Morgan, no big deal. That's actually a huge deal. <laughs> you do that, your life is gonna be much easier in the long run, because you're gonna see units cancel, okay? Now, that's got me in moles of KOH. So now I can say one mole of KOH. Now I need a molar mass for KOH. Now, it's one that I happen to remember, but you just use your periodic tables and add them up. 56.11 grams of KOH, okay? Moles KOH cancels equals, okay? Now, I already ran this through my calculator and got 84.2 grams of KOH, okay? Now, in our next question, what we're going to be looking at is a really important concept. We've got 25 grams calcium nitrate, 2 liters. We want to know the molarity of the nitrate ions, and there are two nitrate ions per molecule. So molarity equals moles over volume. So let's go with the 25.00 grams. CaNO3 sub 2 times. Now I'm going to say one mole of the calcium nitrate. Remember to label everything. I don't care who taught you before what they taught you. You're on my playground now. You're in my yard. You label everything. Okay? Grams cancels, that equals 0 0.1523 moles CaNO3 sub 2. Okay? Then what I'm going to do right here, and you could do this at a few different places, but I just thought of it, so now's the time. I'm going to say one mole of calcium nitrate has two moles. Of nitrate ion. Okay, 0 0.3047 moles nitrate. You might have rounded a little bit differently. Let's not have any panic about that. Okay, so I can come back over here and take my 0 0.3047 moles nitrate divide by my 2.00 liters and that equals 0 0.1524. Now I'm going to have to say that's approximately 0 0.152 molar nitrate to stick with 3 sig figs. That's got three sig figs. That's got three sig figs. So my final answer should have three sig figs. Okay, that's page one of this outline. And I'll do uh, all of the pages one by one to keep it easier to keep track of them. All right, Morgan signing off.